Let's go to the fleet manager again, right? I think we can actually fix this. So, over here in... These guys are supposed to have 10. Right? They're, they're supposed to be... 10 destroyers and it's supposed to be 16. That is the way all these are supposed to work now. 4, 8, 16. No, uh, sorry. 10, 10, 10, 16. No, sorry. Uh, 8, 10, 16. Yes, that's the way it's supposed to be now. So, over here... These guys, don't even worry about them. Uh, over here, don't even worry about them. We don't have any. Uh, over here, Bonaventure class. Okay, this is going to be interesting. So we want a total of how many Corvettes? 16. We want 16 Corvettes. We want... Total of 10 cruisers. Okay, I just hit a button that apparently destroyed everything. Hit that again. Cyclops. Fleet manager. Okay, so I've figured out the way that fleet managing works now. Where we have 16, 10, and 8, and then over here, 16, 10, and 8. We're going to send these ships down to here. Both of them. And we're going to figure things out from there. But all I know is I want to transfer three of these. Oh, no, not cruisers. It's all these guys, right? Uh, yes. You have the 19, 16, uh, sorry, uh, yeah, 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 19, right? Okay. And then we're going to want to transfer ships, just the ones down here, the Corvettes. One, two, three. We're going to get these guys and these guys to come together in the same area. Complete. Right. Three Corvettes, these guys. No, no, where are my other three Cor Corvettes? Put him there? No, I didn't put him there. What? <sighs> thought I split you guys off. Not like that. Uh, this way. One, two, three. All right? Yes. Strike Force Pegasus. Strike Force Enfield. All right? You guys are the ones that need the. Yeah. Okay. Together. Group up. Okay, that took so much longer than it should have. That was like the majority of like the last five minutes that I just spent doing that. That's uh, more martial law, I guess, because you guys are still, you know, upset about things. Um, you don't have happiness, so yes, you can go do things because we're building a robot. Um, yeah, we'll increase, um, you know, improve things. Um, let's go over here. Yes, upgrade, do whatever you need to. For these guys, yeah, we're gonna have to change your fleet manager to the point where. There you go. Alrighty, spicy. Construction complete. Construction is done. The WS Star Base is finished with what they're doing. Secured. So we're gonna send over to there. Okay, the way that this theory goes is that we will now have enough ships. To sort of fix things, right? Construction complete. We may or may not have one extra, but that's completely okay. I'm not complaining. Maybe a few extra. Still, not complaining. Well, it took so long just to balance my military. Ships refitted. Probably because I had no idea what I was doing. Which, you know, it's that's fair. That's fair. I, I, I can truly say that I have no idea what I was doing there. So the fact that I figured it out at all is kind of a miracle. Uh, construction's done. Where? Construction on Deneb. Battle debris secured. Oh, right, yeah, those are the ones that need to be uh, done and stuff. Edict expired, right, okay, so let's... Edict's list, martial law. Um, let's go to all those planets, actually, that have unrest. Well, only 37, okay, that's cool. 
Uh, you guys probably still have unrest, though, yeah? Martial law. Okay, when martial law expires again, you tell me. Debris, fleet upgraded, nice. Check for Titan. Yeah, bring him down there. It's gonna be a long, long, long journey, but at least we'll Science have division. you know a finally a balanced navy. Slave army, nice. That's good. Uh, well, not slave army itself, but you know the other stuff. Oh, this seems really, really nice to have, and so is this. Okay, what we're gonna do instead is oh, deep space block site. What does that mean? Not for the slave birds has not been. Uh, has been set aside as a black site does not officially exist. The entire system is closely monitored from here, where intelligence operatives carefully manipulate local media and social events to the best of their ability. That's pretty good. That's pretty good, yeah. Uh, naval capacity. Nice. Claim influence and war exhaustion is... Oh my god, that's beautiful. Uh, I prefer that over just about anything else you could hand me, so... Thank you. Cool tomorrow's encountered. Battle stations! More search belong to the Church of Light. Hmm? Not this one. No, it's the pious traditionalist. I have been encountered in the Altair system. They are approaching an attack formation. And the Altair system is over uh, there, actually. Well, I mean, that's... That's weak sauce, dude. Just go in and kill him. And then and then come back. In theory, that Space should be done in a couple seconds. Enemy contact. Yeah, it's just... It's okay. Construction complete. Oh wait, wow! I might just wipe him out with the space station instead. Yep. Okay, I'm wiping out with the space station. Okay, then that's cool. Because the way my weapons work, I just pierce through the shielding. So I mean, screw your armor. It's just you, you, you die. Okay. Yeah. You can just you can just stay where you are. Actually, just just don't even bother. Construction complete. Yeah, yeah, there it goes. Well, that was easy. Absolutely ridiculous easy. Construction ship. Okay, nice. Terraforming gases. Uh, we might want to head over to Karosh then. Start terraforming. Into a continental world. Ooh. What are those terraforming gases? Give me again. Uh, strategic resources? Yes. Third glass, terraforming cost. Oh, it just decreases the terraforming cost by 25%. Is that just for one? Maybe. It's like just having one do that, quite possibly. Who knows? Okay, so this is done. Um, can I grab what's there? No. Is there anything you can actually do? Probably not. Anything useful that you could possibly be doing here? I'm gonna guess probably no. Definitely need to go down there and build those mine stations again. Uh, maybe you can only have a certain number. You only have a certain number. Okay, why not? Oh, already doing it. That makes a lot more sense, yeah. Okay, that makes sense. Uh, speaking of Altair, though. Over there, do the research projects and all that good stuff. Uh, now that I have a science ship in here, actually, what, what's supposed to, what am I supposed to do here? Ship debris, of course. Search that project. No, that is the ship debris. So then, hold on, what am I, what am I supposed to do in this planet? Do I go to my Church of Light? Oh my god, that makes a lot more sense. Church of Light, yeah, that's an event thing. Okay, that makes a lot of sense now. That makes... A lot of sense now. I I'm, I understand. My mind has been enlightened by these facts. Okay, wonderful. Our pioneers have made planet fall. Hmm. Yes, on the uh, Gaia Special planet, right? Special project complete. Spirit must be destroyed. Yes, must be gone. Avaconia Primus is going to look fantastic. Oh my god. Oh, I'm dumb. Pytherian stone is that thing you're supposed to put the energy on. Oh, no. Okay, I'm going to lose that on a couple of energy credits, which sucks. Ugh. Okay, because I'm dumb. I put it on the wrong place. I mean, I could cancel it. Nope, I cannot cancel it. Okay, I'm a little bit dumb, and I'm a little bit of a dumb dumb. Didn't know that's what that did. That's cool. Uh huh, that's cool. Yeah, that's, that's completely fine. That's not a problem at all. Yeah, 
totally okay. Totally fine. Okay. Now as for here, you guys are three Corvettes, yes? And you guys need three Corvettes or more. Sounds like it's a match made in heaven. Go ahead. Go to each other. Yes, good. Okay, so you guys have 14 now, and we have three more Corvettes. Why do I have three more Corvettes? What? Oh, that made a... Oh, I made a mistake. Having extra Corvette won't kill you. Group up. 17 Corvettes. Let's just... Shush. Let's just pretend it's supposed to be there. You guys make your way over? Yeah. Nice. Nice. Okay. Um, why are you... Why are you this way? Why are you red? Oh, because you need to be reinforced. You know, in quotations, reinforced. Uh, I'm also certain that you guys don't have a leader. No, you guys do have leaders. I thought I told me that you didn't have leaders. The game lied to me. It lied. You have. You do actually have leaders. Um. You guys don't have much to do, so just chill, I guess. You know, have some fun. Just don't don't cost me much maintenance, and we'll be okay. Yeah. Yeah, that sounds that sounds good to me. Technician, Bacata, and Administration. Now, for the clear one of these guys, the battles are going to come in from one side, and that is what I like very, very much. Where uh, the Bacata Administration and the Tycan Nation are kind of good friends with each other. But they... I don't think they have any connected borders, actually. So they have to go through uncharted space, which actually isn't much of a problem now that I think about it. But the good thing is that they're all oh, very, very nice planets there. I like those planets very, very much. They also have L gates, and I want L gates because I want to know what they do. I have never used L gates, and I don't know what L gates actually, you know, function for. So nice L gates they exist. I want to unravel the mysteries of L gates at some point in my lifetime. Surely control the shipyard. Track, yes, track that, please. Stop tracking that. Track that, please. Oh, in there, really, in Ridicus? really. You want me to do what again? Hmm. In the Reb Ribalon Vortex system. So not there? Or is it there? Where? Where do you want me to go again? Stop tracking. Track it. Stop tracking. Track it. I'm not seeing anything pop up here. Oh, it's in... Oh, it's... It's right there, so... I actually do need the access from the borders. And it didn't tell me that, because it's like, well, it's technically not in their space. Ha 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 ha. No, technically, it's technically not in their room. Yeah, okay then. That's cool. That's so... That's, yeah, okay. Because our two destroyers. Nice group up. That good old group up going? Guys making my way over as well as these guys. Yes. It'll take them a little bit longer though, that's fine. Strike force cracking over there. It's gonna be two of those guys, so it's like pops and cracking. Group up. There you go, you got six out of eight, and then the next two will be these guys coming in hot from the side. You know, taking their time. Eventually they'll, they'll get there. Eventually, you know. Now, the only thing I don't exactly understand is these ships are supposed to have the exact same thing. So is it because the frigates are not of my own design that they are stronger? Is that... Is that how this works? Is that the way this is going to work now? Because that might be the way it works. Because if you think about it, these guys are supposed to be, you know, the same strength. Very, very roughly, but they're lacking by 2.1 thousand power, which is not insignificant. So there's fire rate and the speed. I just, I don't understand why you're so much stronger. Um, really eludes me. I, I don't understand it. I don't understand it at all. I'm guessing there's something to do with types of frigates that I have, like those two extra ones I'm sure are much stronger than the ones I have. 
But no time to dwell on that. We're going to have to head over here and sort of beat some people up. Now at this time, this time we should move at roughly the same speed and there shouldn't be an extra speedy one moving ahead. That's the dream. That's the dream. So we'll see how these ones coordinate with each other now. Also, let's take a look at these guys and just see how inferior they are. Oh, yeah, goddamn, they're inferior. Technology level's inferior. Military's inferior. These guys? Equivalent, but their fleet power is inferior. Uh, and these guys, this is the really important thing. Uh, equivalent in every single direction. So an inferior and an equivalent, and no one will join on my side, because no one really likes me very much. That sounds like an issue. Small little issue there. That I might have to deal with. Mm-hmm. No one wants to attack him with me. Well, goddamn. Uh, as for over here, I can't declare one of them because I have a truce, yes? Yes. A truce until 2326, which is in six more years. Okay. And then and then a friend and myself can beat them up while I go and... Well, actually, that guy can probably beat him up now, to be fair. While I go and beat up his friend, which is the Democratic Cerulean Cooperative. That sounds like an idea to me. That sounds like a quality idea. It also gives me more access to colonizing space. A little bit more than this guy, because this guy sort of... He has an arm stretch around here, but he doesn't really have access to the middle there. Theodore was cancelled because of a reason I'm sure is completely valid. Uh, what do I want you? Just... How about you just sit there and you don't you don't make problems? That sounds like a good idea to me. Just don't don't be a nuisance and everything is fine. Great, wonderful. The last ten minutes we're gonna try and get rid of that small little uh, uh thing there. Yeah, sit sit there and be good. Orbit, please. Thank you. Okay, I thought just clicking on the planet while you're there will make them orbit, but apparently not. It just brings them to the edge of the solar system. Okay, so these guys are both in there. Yep, both of them. It's time to just sort of walk in and pray because those are some strong frigates. Some very, very strong frigates. Oh. Okay. Hold on, first of all, no video feed. Interloper, heed this message. We are the guardians of Zanam. Your presence in the Sarudma system is an affront to our creators. Our programming compels us to destroy you. Make your peace with the universe. Nice. Sounds cool. You know, have fun with that. Uh, I'm just going to go with prosperity and all that good stuff. Now, adopting all prosperity reduces the mineral cost of consumer goods used by our pop to 20%. Oh my god, that's fantastic. 20%? I mean, we spent 167. So dropping that by 20% is a huge bonus. Absolutely massive. And we get more unity just because of it. So, I mean, and an ascension perk, to be fair. So, I mean, I'll take it, of course. Um, so what can we do here? Uh, we can get enigmatic engineering, which is sensor range. Eh, it's not too great. I don't really care that much. Um, nihilistic acquisition unlocks the raiding bombardment stance, which in turn allows to abduct pops from the besieged plants and resettle them to our own worlds. So that's interesting sort of slavery. Maneuver matter. Uh, latent psionic abilities of our species will be awakened in some individuals. So we get telepathy. Okay. Don't know where that brings us. It's a little bit of a. That's a little bit of a no-no in sort of in the terms of being uh, the quote-unquote what is it called the human purity movement or something. That's a little bit of a. It's a dangerous area there. I'm not really sure about that. Galactic force projection, naval capacity. Oh my god, that's beautiful. That is beautiful. Oh my god. Fleet command limit plus twenty. Naval capacity plus eighty. That's great, but we're going to have to fuel that with our economy, which is, to be fair, not looking great right now. Although we have a huge stockpile, we're going to stockpile for a little bit of terraforming, just a tad bit of it. So, yeah, that's not really going to happen yet. Um, Starbase capacity plus 5 is pretty good. Uh, Starbase damage increase, okay, it's good. Uh, internal vigilance, that's the uh, defense one, I guess, if you're turtling. One vision, true unity is achieved only when the ultimate goals of a nation and people are one and the same. After all, a house divided against itself cannot stand. So governing ethics attraction, the ones that we're using right now are pretty good. Uh, monthly unity, that's nice. Mastery of nature, clear blocker edict. I mean, 
Okay. Oh, a small plant is getting more tiles. It can be performed once on each planet. So we can increase... Okay, so we get land clearance. So we can permanently increase the size of a planet by one to three tiles. It's pretty good. Imperial Prerogative sounds nice. Executive Vigor. Edict Duration, nice. It's not great, because... Actually, no, that's Edict. Yeah, that's pretty good. Not gonna lie. Contentment Learning, Leader, Level Cap Plus 2, Empire uh, Shared Destiny, Subject Integration, and it's not important to us at all. Hmm. We could go with Imperial Prerogative, sounds nice for core systems, Mastery of Nature, sounds pretty spicy right now, and I do like the thought of that. So is Monthly Unity, that's pretty good. Oh, so is Galactic Force Projection, to be honest. So I think it's sort of between Galactic Force Projection, uh, One Vision, Mastery of Nature, Imperial Prerogative, and Executive Vigor. Because I don't care about these two. Executive Vigor sounds good for Edicts, of course, that's what it's supposed to be. But I think you know, sort of the quickest one is the Monthly Unity. Well, it's Unity. No, no, yeah, no, Unity's good. So Monthly Unity increased by 10%, which will give us a good old 17, yeah? Maybe. Yes. So we get more unity, which means we can get the next things quicker, which is good. Yeah, that sounds like a good idea, one vision. Spicy. Yeah, that sounds really, really good. Uh, so we should expect things to sort of boost in the next month. Fleet action underway. A little boost, maybe? Yeah, a little bit of a boost, not much. Okay, so we have two fleets engaging here. We'll see which one comes out victorious. It appears ours is completely deleting them, actually. Oh god, this is... This is the battle, this is genocide. That's... okay, that's disgusting. Oh, they have a... There's a planet in there. That's kind of whack. What? It's absolutely crazy, actually. Okay, uh, you guys just go and repair, do your thing. Uh, may as well reinforce, right? Because we lost some. Reinforce those fleets as well. We're gonna get our nearest uh, good old science ship, which will not be that one. This one. Nice. We're gonna get you to survey the system. Good. Go ahead. Do that. Missions is stop. Oh, okay. They're commerce exchange. I thought it was another, like, entire nation. I was like, what? How did you... Do you fit there? Do you fit there? Where do you fit? No. It's, uh, just another trader. But traders, if you have more than one, can get you more things. So... Let's uh, go by the... Um, no, builds of power. Oh, yeah, that's... It's sort of the... The ledger in Slaris, I guess. Oh my god, these guys are so powerful. I don't like that. Um, Trader Enclaves. Okay, let's communicate with you guys. No, not that one. Uh, let's go over to the next trader enclave. These guys? Yeah, okay, so we can trade a whole bunch with more of them. Uh, we don't want those, actually. Uh, just something else. Let's go for our credits. There you go, thank you. That is all. And then another contact with these trader enclaves. Oh, no, we already have a deal. Okay, that's cool. So I think we're just gaining a whole bunch from... I think we're just getting a whole bunch of energy credits because of how much we're asking for from, from people doesn't tell us how much though how much we're gaining from asking people so if we terraform this planet that'd be fantastic it's a Gaia world so uh, we can probably end up doing that speaking of terraforming I thought I started this but apparently I didn't so let's terraform that into a continental world I believe 2880 days wow that's gonna be a long time um, 2,880 days, that's like... If 5 years is about 15,000 days, give or take, maybe 200, maybe it's like 1,700 days. Hmm. Yeah, that's gonna be a while. That's gonna be almost 10 years. Maybe 9 years? Maybe 8 years, who knows. Complete. But a, a fair number. Fair number of, of years. Construction is done. Complete. Uh, we got people to build us the reinforcements, right? Yeah, reinforcements are on the way. 
That's good. I think they're just minor things. Yeah, one destroyer was destroyed. <laughs> I'm <honestly. laughs> Okay, I'm gonna stop now. Hold on, is that? Okay, yeah, ten. For a second, I thought I saw it say eight, and I'm like, oh, that's not right. That's not supposed to be there. Construction ship is done there. So terraforming cost has already decreased, and the time has decreased as well, so imagine how much it would cost for other things. Oh my god, that's not even terraformable. It's literally just... This planet's fantastic. Only because the obelisk of Zanam. Hmm. I rather do like that. Now, it's sort of my personal belief, just before we end off this episode, I kind of want to slap down an opinion, which nobody, nobody wants to hear the opinions, of course, but... I think the different tile backgrounds should have different sort of effects on population. I don't know if that's just a me thing. But uh, personally, I would really like to see something like that implemented. Where, um, say it's, it's Gaia World, right? And, you know, Gaia Worlds tend to have really good terrain and stuff because it's supposed to be, you know, biomes that are eminently Inbound suitable for most forms of life. Traffic. Which, you know, of course, is great. Um, Oh, I mean, want the terraforming gases for? Oh, right, yeah. So we can just give them the terraforming gases for minerals and energy credits. Yeah, sure, that sounds good. I guess. I mean, I want to get my own deal. Actually, uh, let's take a look at their stuff because I want monthly things. I, I feel like it's just in general monthly things better. So monthly tra transfer, monthly transfer. I will give you. Uh, not any of those things. I want to give you... Where's that strategic... Where's the strategic resource? Where are my strategic resources? I mean, first of all, research agreement. Yeah, that's good. Wait, those... Those give me that? What? Oh my god, that's me. I'm dumb. Uh, information, food... Where are the rest of my things? Because he offered... He offered those specific things. Communications. Uh, where are my other trade things? Unless I already have a trade deal with them. Hmm. Okay, so I think that was someone else actually offering to trade things. Was it you? Was it you? Uh, was it you? I don't know who it was actually. Oh god, now I'm a little bit confused. No, it definitely wasn't you. I, I was certain it was these guys, wasn't it? I was certain it was these guys. Uh, and that they were gonna ask for it again. Monthly terraforming liquids. Uh, unless these guys hate me a little bit less now. Uh, offer trade deal? Transfer systems? What? No. Yeah, that's disgusting. Maybe it was these guys who I'm sure still hate me? Yeah, now I'm a little bit confused. Yeah, I'm a little bit confused. Uh, that's, that's okay. Maybe it was someone like... No, you guys are exterminators. You guys are... I, I don't even understand you guys. They're Frenac purifiers, so they don't engage in diplomacy. Okay, whatever. So it was you guys. You're offering for that again because it's going to expire in like eight years? Or do you want more terraforming liquids? I'm confused. I don't even know. It definitely wasn't you guys because you guys despise me. I'm sure that you guys despise me still, so. Recon pass completed. Can't even give you the good things either. Peace offer from... Oh, nice. Citrin extirpators. Status quo, okay, white piece. Some surveyed. Uh, where's my construction ship? Someone moving along the way. Yeah, okay, nice, nice, nice. But it seems without getting much accomplished, to be fair, you know. A new world. Oh, nice. In the new world. Uh, okay, let me just do one thing first. Oh my god, that's ridiculously powerful. What? 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 Base of nine. 20% plus 
plus 10%. Oh my god, that's ridiculous. What? Okay, we're gonna have food forever now. That's... That's cool. Um... You guys are gonna be a farming world now. Alright, you guys... It's just a farming world. I don't care about the one minerals if you give me more... More farming stuff, I mean. Oh my god, that's ridiculous. Anyways... I got off track for a second there, but... Yeah, it seems like we're gonna have to be... Sort of done... At least today for our Commonwealth of Man Stellaris. We're gonna have to come back next time because we just reached that... You know, the time to put in a cut to make sure that next time we have, you know, half an hour as usual because if these come out in half an hour segments, so if I, you know, you know how the whole thing goes. So, this is Carter signing off, and I hope you've had a fantastic time watching this episode of Stellaris as the Commonwealth of Man, and I'll catch you guys in the next one.